This is day one of the Hell Hades Raid Shadow Legends free to play challenge. For those who don't know, Hell Hades, a prominent raid creator, along with many other raid YouTubers, have set up a challenge. Anyone can join and compete to see who is the best at Raid Shadow Legends. The rules are fairly simple. Set up a brand new raid account and for the next three months try to progress in all areas of the game as fast as possible without spending any real world money. Points will be awarded for completing a new dungeon stage, the leadboard positions after month 1, 2 and final positions. The leaderboards are for things like highest dungeon stage clears, fastest champion, most number of 6 star champions and a few others which we'll get into later. There are a couple of other rules. No legendary champions pulled from shards are allowed to be used. Daily login champions and fusions are allowed, but apart from those it is going to be rare and epics only. Maybe uncommon and common if you think you can make it work. So my name is Greg and this is going to be my attempt at competing with the pros. The first decision I need to make is who is my starter champion going to be? People have their favourites, but Galek is usually considered to be the worst choice. Probably the top two is either Kale or Aethel. Aethel self buffs and has a weakened debuff which can be very useful. Kale has an ability to poison enemies. Elhain is a very good damage dealer but brings no buffs or debuffs. I've never been much of a fan of Aethel so for this reason I'm choosing Kale. So with the first choice made it's time to get through the tutorial. The first task is to pull our first champion from a mystery shard. To my shock it's Sniper. <laughs> ok it's not that shocking, the first is always Sniper. She's a decent champion for an uncommon and will help in the early game but usually gets replaced very quickly. Now we dive into the campaign. Let's skip the plot because to be honest it's irrelevant. I doubt many raid players could tell you what the story of this game is. The lore is there if you want to search it out but for this challenge we have more important things to think about. Currently we only have two champions so let's select them and enter our first battle. Behold, combat. For winning we gain this sword. We're forced to equip it even though it's trash but we'll sort out our gear later on. For now we fight more campaign battles and gain more useless gear which we're forced to equip and upgrade wasting precious silver. But now something interesting happens. This is the 7 day login rewards. All new players get this. Each day we log in we'll get one piece of 4 star lifesteal gear and on the 7th day we'll get the legendary champion Rathalos. This is one legendary champion we are allowed to use. We'll take the boots for day one and instantly Ray tries to sell us stuff. Not today Raid, not today. But I will take the free rewards, thank you very much. Now the tutorial has ended and we're free to do what we want. It's a good idea to work your way through the challenges and quests as they give a good idea on what to do if you're not sure and they do give some useful early game rewards. But at this stage we come to our next big decision. We are allowed to use one new player promo code. This is the list of available codes. Each code will give a few useful resources but they all also give you one champion too. Our choices are Talia, Deacon Armstrong, Apothecary, Mordecai, Lure, Seducer, Miscreated Monster, Kellen the Shrike, Luria, Frostbringer, Oboro or Cormac the High Peak. The code for Solomon Kong has been banned as he is a legendary champ and we're not allowed to use him. This is actually quite a difficult decision. Deacon is a fantastic champion, Mordecai has a very tricky to get HP burn debuff, Allure is a game changer for the Fire Knight dungeon, Miscreated Monster has stun debuffs and great team support utilities, Oboro is great for the Hydra Clan boss, Kellen, Luria and Cormac I'm not too familiar with but I don't think they compare with the others. Lastly Seducer and Frostbringer are rare champions so why would you ever choose them? I mean they are good for rares but they're not on the same level as the others and they're much easier to get in game anyway. I'm going to choose Miscreated Monster as I think he's a great all round champ and will be great for the clan boss which is one of the most important areas in the game so I put in his code and lock in my decision. Now it's back to the campaign, switching out Sniper for our new epic champion and continue progressing. We get through to the boss for the first stage, defeat him and win a new rare champion and a load of better gear. But the important thing to look at now is the novice tournament that everyone gets at the start. Doing well in this tournament is a great way to get some early game boosts. If you can manage to get 1000 tournament points you'll win all the rewards at the side 
with the top reward being a set of 5 star speed gear which could be very useful if RNG is on your side. Also if you manage to win the tournament you can get an ancient shard which could be great, it could also be useless but that's raid for you. So I will be trying my hardest to win this tournament, but with the Hell Hades challenge just starting a lot of these accounts will also be part of the challenge and will also be going all out to win so I'm not going to have an easy time of it. I spent some time progressing in the campaign, equipping champs with gear and completing some missions. Eventually I reached level 10 which unlocks clans. I joined a random clan which turns out to be a brand new clan full of other people taking part in the challenge. This could be fun to see how others are progressing and give me an idea of how well I'm doing. Completing the next area of campaign gives me some more gear which for now will be good on Miss Greta Monster. This gear is not worth investing in much as it will quickly get replaced as I get better equipment but for now it's an improvement on what I have. I continue to complete the quests and missions but now I've unlocked dungeons and decide to get revenge on the dragon who wiped out the team in the intro cinematic. The dragon falls to my team and gives me valuable points for the tournament. Well that's where I stand at the end of day one. If you want to follow along with me in this challenge make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time for another Rage Shadow Legends video.